All right, guys. Minnesota's Minnesota State Troopers officer needs help again, guys. Let's check this one out. Going on? How did we get here? Let's take a look. This started. Bye. What is going on? Okay, okay. How did we get here? I just wanted. Uh, we missed the first word. So here, let's take a look. This start. Let's snap. It's like he's jogging, bro. When you're outnumbered by cars with like that, it does suck, man. Started Reminds us that we're only human, bro. Those cars are pretty dangerous, right, guys? This was end of August, early September, I-94, downtown, so near Washington. Let's look at the temp- the temperature is not bad, though. It ain't no summer temperatures, right, guys? In Avenue. And by the time we catch up and start recording here, he's uh, taking off his shoes, just running in his socks. Soda is a surveillance state, bros. Sorry guys, just had a shower. And the trooper has been following him for half a mile or a mile, and he occasionally he'll run back and forth across the roadway there. This bro is also just recording, guys. Would you record this stuff? I mean, you could. You'd get a ton of views on TikTok for whatever reason. At the bottom of your or YouTube screen, there's someone who's taking some video of themselves that kind of caught their attention. Or maybe it's just himself. I apologize. Maybe it's a recording. Troopers. I thought he was recording the whole interaction. Making sure to kind of keep him safe, trying to buy some time to get additional help on this. And the first truck has arrived, so the first truck is out there to provide a little extra safety. I didn't even know you could call trucks that could do that, guys. <laughs> Things are going to get interesting here in a moment. But he's straight up making a run for it, guys. Don't know where he's headed. As he's thinking about starting to do a lane change, so to speak. Look at the presence of mind of the DOT first truck driver. They switched their signboard to say, do not pass. A great safety move. You can't see it, but the state trooper is already out of their car. Yeah, bro. Straight up pulled in front of him, guys. So slowing down on the freeway is kind of a dangerous thing to do. He jumped over the median barrier. You gotta be safe while doing it, guys. And now it's on. Oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. The car. I didn't see the guy. Barrier, and now it's on. What's that, bro? Straight up apprehending him. Like, le legit apprehending him, guys. Like, an MMA. It's almost like an MMA. Like, jeez, bro. I bet the guy did not like that happening. Very scary situation. If your heart is beating right now, so is mine. Yo, also, the guy in the truck is helping him, bro. Oh, what the heck? Here's our reverse angle. Okay, thankfully they have 500 cameras, so we can actually see some decent angles here. This is helping their um, freaking YouTube channel a ton, guys, because they got these angles. Otherwise, it would be so much more boring, right, guys? Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Running down the freeway, but he's not gonna leave his shoes. Snap, he's even picking up speed right there. Behind. He's got his shoes with him. Wow, there you go. He seems to be exhausted right there, guys. So he goes right over the barrier. Lie. Troopers in pursuit. He's watching, looking. I mean, he was planning on going across there. And he looks away for a moment, and Trooper takes his opportunity. Trooper sees he's looking away from me and jumps at that opportunity. He goes one-on-one. -on -one. First truck driver comes out as well. And that Trooper pushing him right back against the wall. You know, I think this went about as well as it could have gone. And, the, you know, that trooper, he's thinking, get him out of the road, get him out of the road, get him, get him away from traffic, right? Because uh, we're on a freeway. Definitely give some... Hey, bro. Dangerous job, for sure, man. Some credit to the DOT driver. He was out of his truck, over the barrier, pretty... Fit. If you have this kind of job, you are, like, giga brave, bro. I commend you. Because I am good on all this, bro. Su super, super dangerous of a thing to do. Yes, and they don't get paid to do that. Keep that in mind. So he was going above and beyond for sure. Huge response. I mean, uh, here's, you know, that trooper was trying to buy time to get the help that he needed. Well, here's the help does arrive. And sometimes people balk or get a little concerned about how many squads come out. But there's not a lot of cost to taxpayers. They show up, make sure everyone's okay, and they head on their way. There's no big cost there. They don't need that many officers to do this, guys, right? Traffic slows down for a moment. I think arrested or an ambulance is going to show up. 
I think he's probably going to be... I don't know, guys. I don't want to make assumptions. Hopefully just ambulance. All right, guys. At MN Safety, we believe knowledge is power, especially when it comes to public safety. Please support our mission by liking, subscribing, and sharing. So they're they're gonna they're definitely gonna post something about this in the comments with a follow up in our videos. Subscribing is free, and you can always unsubscribe. If you don't like our videos, leave us a comment. We try to read each and every one of them. We want to get better and appreciate your feedback. Okay, looks like we don't get a follow up here. It just asks us a question, guys. Cross the road crew man. He's a real man who is, would be there for anyone in trouble. He's quick thinking and not afraid to react. We are also not afraid to react. <laughs> but yeah. I don't think we even know what happened, guys. He just asked us if we... If we, uh, you know... Asked us our opinion on everything. Nice video. People need to see what law enforcement do day in, day out. Save people from them. Those facts, bro. Alright, that's our video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Check out Midwest City to the description. I'll see you guys next one. Later.